uh, in this uh, video series, uh, we focus on uh, SPSS. So in this lesson, lesson one, we focus on coding. Uh, yes, we need to code uh, data, uh, for example, data that come from the questionnaire filled in by the respondents uh, before we uh, enter the uh, coded data into Excel and import them into SPSS. SPSS is a powerful uh, st statistical tool uh, used by uh, students and uh, business uh, communities uh, around the world. And SPAS works well with numbers. It does not, in other words, it does. It is not designed uh, to work with textual uh, data. So let's go to uh, uh, coding uh, for quantitative uh, research. So as you can see, um, the first lesson uh, uh, we focus on how to uh, how to code. Uh, dichotomous uh, variable. What do we mean by di dichotomous variable? Uh, uh, dichotomous variable refers to any vari variable that has uh, that has two options. For example, gender is conceptualized as a dichotomous variable because it has uh, two values or two options for the participants or respondent to choose from. So we have male and female. So uh, in order to code uh, this uh, item uh, gender, uh, basically we use uh, zero for the first option. We code zero for male, and we use uh, code one for female. Uh, this is called dummy coding. Uh, in the in the subsequent lesson, I will uh, demonstrate why it's uh, useful to use uh, zero, zero, and one rather than uh, using code one and two. Uh, another item that is conceptualized as dichotomous is this. Do you like to work from home? And the respondents have two options to choose from. No, I don't lie. And yes, I lie. So basically, we're going to code zero for no and one for yes. So we are done, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, how to code uh, all items in your study that that provide two options for the participant to choose from. So we use zero and one. Uh, another uh, uh, lesson to, to learn is how to code a polytomous uh, variable. A polytomous variable refer to any variable in your study that provides more than two uh, values or two options for the participant uh, to choose from. For example, uh, you uh, might want to survey survey uh, students uh, uh, in your university and, uh, and you ask them one question, which department do you belong to? And you provide the option English department, Japanese department, Chinese department, and other departments. So you can see here this is uh, this uh, uh, item is truly uh, polytomous because uh, we have up to four options for the participants uh, to choose from. So basically, we're going to start with one. We code uh, one for the first option, one, uh, two for the second option, option, three for the third option, and four for the last uh, option. So we have learned how to code uh, uh, dichotomous variables and uh, polytomous variables. Let move to. Let us move to um, uh, how to um, how to code uh, multiple response options item. You know, sometimes it is very useful for uh, the researchers to uh, include uh, multiple response uh, items uh, in the questionnaire. Uh, and here uh, we have one example. Which soft drinks have you purchased in the past three weeks? So you provide the option uh, Coke, uh, Pepsi, uh, Sprite, Fanta, 7-Up, and other soft drinks. Let's say a participant 
uh, participant number one, uh, tick Coke, tick Pepsi, tick Sprite, but he did not take Fanta, 7-Up, and others. So when the participant takes uh, Coke, Pepsi, and Sprite, um, we can conclude that he uh, actually did uh, purchase a Coke, Pepsi, and Sprite, and Sprite in the past, in the past three weeks. So we're going to code a one for Coke, a one for Pepsi, and one for Sprite. And however, since he did not uh, take uh, Fanta, 7-Up, and others, uh, we conclude that he did not uh, purchase uh, the three uh, soft drinks in the past three weeks. Therefore, we code zero for Fanta, zero for uh, 7-Up, and zero for others. So in this situation, uh, code number one represents uh, the items that uh, the, the, the respondent uh, purchased and code zero, zero represents the items that the respondents did not uh, purchase. So uh, this is the, the end of uh, uh, lesson one on coding and we will continue to lesson two still on coding.